John Chiave Sagupolatelli's love for the game of football exceeds the average player. Growing up in a football family, he and his brother Jaron were destined for greatness on and off the field. John's inclusive personality and strong leadership skills allowed him to become a difference maker. My dad played football for Castle and my mom's brothers also played football. And so football was like a big thing in my family. So I don't think we would not ever play football. So I started off playing flag football for a small Eva Beach team, Eva Beach Dragons at the time. And then like I was playing wide receiver like all around because you can't really have a position at such a young age. And then we went into playing uh, Eva Beach Sabres is where I first started playing tackle football. I played uh, like lineman when I was younger because I was I was kind of like chubby as a kid. I uh, eventually went to quarterback because we needed someone, I guess, so I just tried to step up. After uh, Ever Be Sabres, I moved on to intermediate uh, for Metro Tigers. And then with Coach Nate, where he was the head coach of the, um, of the team and stuff. And then after that, just went into high school and the rest is history. He loves football. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's um, it, he has joy playing football. And that's, and that's something that's contagious. And, and, and the game should be fun. You know, there's a lot of pressure on, on young athletes nowadays, pressure on parents, pressure on families, and a lot of it, you know, I think um, that it doesn't need to be that way. And it needs to be, it needs to be uh, prioritized that these young, these young athletes have fun playing football, because it's a fun game. It's a great game. John's love for football was tested when an opportunity was presented which would allow John to attend Punahou School in the sixth grade. 22 miles, that's approximately the distance between John's home in Eva Beach and Punahou. With John committed to attend Punahou, he committed to this daily commute. To some, this might not seem like a lot. To a high school student athlete who has to maintain solid study habits and physically exert themselves every day at practice, 22 miles was a stretch. Before getting his license, John would sleep on the long car rides as his mom drove him to and from school. But now John wakes up as early as 5 a.m. to get to school with enough time to get ready for the day. So I usually leave the house around uh, anytime before 6, so like, like 5.50 or close to 6. Um, I'm usually on the road for about 30 to 45 minutes, um, then head down to the locker room at like 7, and then I usually... I, this first semester, I start eight every day, so then shower, get ready, and just get ready to prepare for class. Yeah, I, I think he, he epitomizes the, um, the sacrifice that a lot of student athletes and students in general need, need to make um, to be here at Puno School. You know, the academics um, will challenge everybody here. And, and, and then also, you know, we're playing football at the highest level in regards to the open division, especially here in the ILH. That is, there is a sacrifice. You have, to, you have to sacrifice certain things to be good at the things that you love and um, the things that are of value to you. And you can see that his priorities, by committing to this over time in terms of his high school career, um, it, it's, it's, a, it's an example for the others to see that, hey, this guy can do it. He can make the commute. You know, he can, he can uh, you know, handle his business in the classroom and, and excel in the classroom and also excel on the football field. John is the kind of guy that you're not going to know that he's, you know, that it's a struggle because he enjoys the process. Uh, after practice, I go down and shower, and then I'd probably leave the school around 7, 7.15 and get home around like 8, sometimes 9 if like there's traffic, but usually at that time there's not really much traffic. Um, and since it's already late, I'm already tired, so I try to, the best to do my homework during the breaks that I have during school. Uh, we do have kids that come from, you know, really far away, like Nanakuli and Eva Beach and Kahuku, and we really value those kids and their presence on campus because they end up being great community members, right? If you look at John, he's an unbelievable community member. He cares about people, right? And so that's the kind of presence we want to bring to campus, and that's why that's ultimately one of the things that has made John a very successful community member on this campus. As a freshman, John had an opportunity to start at quarterback. Playing with a senior heavy group, it was like John had no choice but to suppress his personal challenges and commit everything he had to the team. 
as a freshman, he was thrust into position, in, into a, he was thrust into that position, um, replacing a uh, injured senior. And you know, being the young freshman, I think you know it, it was it was a tough situation. He had a senior uh, heavy team, and he had to um, really jump in and and um, kind of fill the void for a, a very strong senior leader at that time. You know, as a freshman, I was really like timid and nervous. When it was my time, then I had to step up and do my best for the team. It was everything I tried to do was for the team to help the team succeed and win. Uh, throughout high school, I just try to you know, work on my leadership skills, uh, try to be a, a good teammate for uh, everyone else on the team, uh, try to get, get to know everybody on the team because we just have to be tight and like get the chemistry together because that's what it takes for us to win. And, and he's a leader in a different type of way in the sense that he's not a quiet leader, he's not quiet at all. Um, but he doesn't take himself and put himself above anybody else. He's very inclusive, he brings everybody in. He brings everybody, you know, um, together in that sense. He's very much the glue of our team in that sense. And, and at times, you know, you see it in his play and, and you wonder why certain decisions he'll, he'll make or something, especially when he was younger. And, and you realize he's trying to get everybody involved. And that attitude, you know, is something that it, it can be contagious, if, and it's a good thing when you're when you're when you're trying to be a leader and trying to, uh, you know, grow the culture of a team. For us, it's been a huge benefit having him just just grow into that leadership role and um, be a part of this program, that continuity for the last four years. And with the values that John brings to Punahou, he's truly made a difference for the students on campus and his teammates on the field. Being a senior on the team, John leads by example and shows his younger teammates how to continue to build a culture on the team and play together. He goes a step, in, step beyond, right? And he actually takes those values that he holds dear and he actually contributes and puts himself out there with the rest of the community. He's always attentive about kids that are feeling marginalized and maybe not feeling like they fit on campus. Right? And, and he brings them in. He actually searches them out, brings them into the fold, and, and, and connects them to this community, which, which is what we want. We want a connected, cohesive community because in a sport like football especially, you can't be successful if you're not connected. You know, I, I try to portray myself as a Christian because uh, that's how I was raised up in my family. So I try to be nice to everybody, even if I don't know them. Um, because I really do remember like the little things that other people have th done for me that have been kind and you know it just it sticks with you so I try to be like that for other people. One of the biggest benefits he's been to this program has been the consistency that he's brought. You know I'm, I'm not just a coach here I've been here he's been here as almost as long as I've been you know he was he was the quarterback when my, my older son was playing and now I have a younger son on the team and he's the quarterback for him as well. He's kind of part of the family in that sense. And, and he's been that way um, from the little brother when he was a freshman to now the big brother that everybody looks to. I just try the, my best to be the best example that I can, especially to younger students being a senior, um, the big class on campus. So I just try my best to set an example and you know just be nice and kind to other people, especially the, the underclassmen, because that's what means the most to me. He's a great example of what we kind of want our leaders to be like. I mean, he plays the most, the high, most high profile position in, in the whole school. And he's that humble and that inclusive and that caring and empathetic. Like, that's the kind of leader we want. For us and on our football program, our staff has really challenged, you know, all of our players, you know, to just always commit to um, relentless effort and, and you know, personal self-discipline to build trust by being consistent all the time and and that's been a you know that's been a challenge for everybody and that's a that's a, and, and no matter what area not just in the football field but also in the classroom and in every aspect of your life and those are those are the type of, um, of values that we feel that if 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 we can we can get them to buy into that on the football field that can help them you know in the classroom definitely here and then also beyond when they go to college and they go go about you know their careers and building their families you know you can learn a lot playing football it, as you know it's a team sport and it really helps you like learn to respect others um, that if that's one thing that I've learned that's like the biggest thing for me uh, being able to respect your teammates because you may not always 
have people that you are close with or that you like, but just being able to respect them will help you move forward and um, you know get closer and build chemistry to become a better team.